uh, one of the plays they show all the time in the Duke Carolina rivalry is the chase down block. Um, talk me through that play and us. One of the things that I was I was actually looking at it before you before we got on today, and one of the like subtle like genius things was you didn't come like right behind them. Cause then, you know, you call it foul. You kind of took an angle to and just kind of swiped at it. So you, you know, you jumped to the side of them. Talk, talk me through that play. And uh, I mean, it's one of the, like the coolest plays in, in a Duke Carolina. Yeah, well, well, thanks. Well, first of all, you know, you know, the passion and what the Carolina game means, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to even put into words. Uh, you just never want to give Carolina anything ever, ever. And, uh, you know, this game was uh, a tough game for us because Carlos Boozer broke his foot. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Carolina was favored, I think, by 10 that game to, to beat us. It didn't look good. We started we started Casey Sanders and Reggie Love. Mm-hmm. And everyone thought we were done after Carlos got hurt. And, uh, you know, and Joe Forte, I think, was co-ACC uh, player of the year, too. So I, I didn't want to give him anything. Yeah, either. yeah. <laughs> And so when, when he made that play, I remember I'm, I'm just like I'm, I'm just gonna like if he dunks on me, he dunks on me. Yeah. And and luckily, like I, I watch that that play now, and you know, Coach K always talked about just being instinctual. And like uh-huh. I don't, you know, I don't know what I was trying to do. I just was trying to make a play. A play yeah. was there, and I literally remember, like I literally got my fingernail on the ball. And that yeah, was yeah. It. Just I mean, enough. Yeah. Literally, and I stretch as long as I could, and I got a fingertip on it. Joe Forte misses the dunk we come down and i think it was uh, chris duan hits a three you know and and we you know go on this run and yeah. you know and carolina was just shell shocked so yeah. uh, looking at that play um one of my favorite plays just because who who is against yeah the situation that we were in and the fact that we put it on carolina in the dean dome <laughs> absolutely our, 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 that game <laughs> Yeah, it's always a little bit sweeter, and that's the uh, that's the age old rule: uh, miss a layup, give up a layup. Um, yep. It's amazing how often that happens. I was like, I was watching the women's game yesterday, and they would miss a layup, and they would give up a layup on other. And I'm like, why does that happen every single time? It's yeah. like ninety percent. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of it's that was a pretty cool play, man. Pretty cool play. Especially, especially at the Dean Dome, like that's that's big time. Yeah, there's very few places better than winning. What, what, what were your favorite places to play in the ACC? I I didn't like playing at the Dean Dome. Um, I just didn't like the like the colors. Like it's it's a lot it's a lot of baby blue yeah. in there. It's tell really tell them weird. like how it's kind of depressing, isn't it? You walk in there, it's kind of like <laughs> subdued. You're just yeah. like ah. yeah, because it's not like because you expect you're like oh Duke Carolina, and I you know I know how it's going to be at Cameron gonna be nuts but it's like the way they set the the way they set the arena up it's not like they have the fan the 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 students are in the end zones yeah and then on the sideline it's like you know 70 80 year olds who are just watching basketball like damn near cheering for both sides like just having a good time so it's not like it gets it does get loud because it's it's huge but it's not like it's not quite as intense. I mean, nothing's really as intense as Cameron, but like you would think that it'd be more intense. Yeah, I I love playing there. You know, yeah. just just the the blue. You look up at the Raptors, you see Jordan and Worthy. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. You know, you know, right? <laughs> I, I love I love beating Carolina. Yeah, the, I, it's it's fun like walking out with the win. We got two oh, while yeah. I was there. The first one wasn't like I think we won by ten, and they weren't good. So that one was kind of like whatever. But then. uh I got to be a part of the uh, the one where Austin hits the shot at the end, and that yeah. that was just oh, that, that was that just was so best. sweet. <laughs> oh my goodness, it was so sweet because they were they were killing us the whole game. Uh, you know, you've had games where you're just like, oh, this is not going yeah. right, and yeah. then everything went right for three minutes, and you know, it was it was really cool because um, they were going for they were going down to shoot free throws. Zeller was going down to shoot a free throw, and we had a timeout. We go in the huddle. And we drew up two plays, mm-hmm. you know, it was like, this is what we're doing if we're down this much. This is what we're doing if we're down this much. And it was, it was cool because like we executed what, like, you know, we ended up being down two and we did what we were supposed to do down two. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. It was just, it was just kind of a cool moment because like, you know, you're in the heat of this battle. It's going crazy. It's 20,000 people in there going crazy, but you know, we had the, 
the wherewithal to say, okay, this is what we're doing. Um, yeah. Because we're in this situation. And then, yeah. you know, obviously players have to make plays. Austin hits a yeah. huge shot. Yeah. And yeah. the coolest thing was it was, it never been that quiet. I'd never been in the deep zone <laughs> when it was that quiet. Like that was the best part about it because like we're run, like he hits the shot here. And so we turn and sprint down to the other end of the court. And the only thing you hear is our little section on the other yeah. side. Yeah. And everybody else has got the the, the cobras <laughs> up, like <laughs> just shell shocked. It was, oh man, it, it was, it was so good. It was so uh, good. You know, so like, that's, that's one thing I tell Coach K, like they say, like, well, what makes Coach K so great? And like Coach K is fiery, obviously, you yeah, know, and, yeah. and like, is like so passionate and, all people like think that he is like this, this tornado and what he doesn't get credit for. And it's something that he always talks about. He's like, look, when, when the tension, the stress is the highest, mm -hmm. I want to be the calmest person out there and give my team strength. And mm -hmm. so if you look at any close game, like that Carolina game or Maryland games, when, when it, like all, all, you know, all hell's breaking loose everywhere else, he's always the calmest guy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the reason why I, we were so good in late game situations, tough situations, you know, cause, cause I believe we looked at coach and we're like, yeah, we got this, yep. you know, Don, Don tend to Maryland mm -hmm. coach K wasn't freaking out. He could have been like mm -hmm. yelling at us freaking out. He's like, Oh, we're, you know, we're going to win this, yeah. you know? And it's an amazing skill for, for a coach uh, who is as passionate as fiery as, as he is. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. It's, um, it's funny that you mentioned that because you know, watching watching a tournament, you know, both on the men's and women's side. I don't going to say any names, but, you know, some coaches are, they just, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they're just so like spastic. They're like, ah, ah, I can't believe you did that. And rah. And I'm like, just relax because that stuff, like, it's not like quantifiable, um, but it trickles down, right? Like if you're freaking out, you're the leader, I'm freaking out, you know? And, mm -hmm. but if you're calm, then I'm calm. Like if I look over, you know, just like, you know, I look over at coach and he's like, you know, we're cool. I'm like, oh, then we're cool. Or if, you know, we get yeah. in the huddle and he's looking and, you know, he looks at us and says, hey, we're going to win. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, no, no problem. We're, yeah. we're winning. Then. Like, I don't know how, I don't, it doesn't look, you know, yeah. I'm looking up like, yeah. I don't know, but like, oh, yeah. he said, he said, we're going to win. So we'll, we'll win. And um, yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's a, because like you said, he is so fiery. He is so passionate, but yeah, when it comes down to the games, he, you know, it, it, it goes inward and he just exudes confidence in it. Yeah. It spills over yeah. to the players. 